For our learning competency, at the end of the lesson, you'll be able to demonstrate proper techniques in carrying and transporting of unintentional injuries. And as for our learning objectives, first, list the different techniques in carrying and transporting a victim. Second, explain the procedures in carrying and transporting a victim. And lastly, execute the different techniques in carrying the victim. So what is carrying and transporting in first aid? It means to hold something or someone with your hands, arms, or on your back and transport the victim from one place to another. There are some important factors to remember in transporting a victim. First is the weight and height of the victim. The second is the status of the victim if he or she is conscious or unconscious. The third is the environment. Is it safe? Is the floor smooth or is it narrow or wide? And lastly, the special need consideration, which involves the injuries of the victim. So under this one-man carry, we have different kinds of carrying. The first is what we call fireman's carry, as what you can see in the picture. It is usually used to quickly move an unconscious or disabled casualty for a moderate or long distance. This carry leaves one of the bearer's arms free to carry a rifle, move around obstacles, and so forth. The second one is what we call support carry. This is used only with a conscious casualty who can walk or at least hop at one leg. The carry can be used for a long distance until the casualty tires. So you can see in the picture what call support care is just yung aakbay lang siya doon sa nagbuhat sa kanya at least kaya niyang conscious siya at saka kaya niyang maglakad or at least maghop so that is what we call support carry the third type is what we call arms carry so generally used to move a conscious or unconscious casualty for a short distance so bakit short distance kasi arms lang yung nagki-carry sa kanya and then the fourth is what we call saddle back which is used for a conscious casualty who can put his arms around your neck. So def definitely nando siya sa likod mo and then it is generally used to carry a casualty for a moderate or long distance. And then we have pack strap carry. This is generally, generally used to carry a conscious or unconscious casualty for a moderate distance. This carry is not used if the casualty has a broken arm. So, kasi, syempre, dahil sa, sa likod nga siya nakalagay, so, kailangan talaga, hindi, hindi nyo siya gagawin kapag, kapag may injury sa kamay yung, yung pasyente. And then, the other one is what we call pistol carry. So, ayan, kaya na nakita natin sa picture. So, this is used to carry a conscious or unconscious casualty for a long distance. It is the preferred carry if you must use your rifle, climb banks, or move over obstacles since the carry leaves both of your hands free. So, hindi mo kasi siya hawak-hawak unlike do sa mga other na, na mga carry na binanggit natin. And then, lastly, for uh, one-man carry, we have neck drag. So, this is Generally, generally used to move a conscious or unconscious casualty for a short distance. This carry allows the rescuer to stay close to the ground but not as close as the pistol belt drag. So the carry can be used when moving behind a low wall, under a vehicle, or through a culvert. So the neck drag is not used if the casualty has a broken arm. Yan. So the next type of carry is what we call two-man carry and there, there are different kinds of two-man carry. So the first is what we call two-man fore and aft carry. So used to move a conscious or unconscious casualty, it is not as tiring as the other carries. Therefore, it is usually the preferred two-man carry for moving a casualty for a long distance. So sa lahat ng mga two-man carry, ito talaga yung recommended pag long distance yung, yung gagawin sa kanya, yung pagtatransport dun sa victim. And then, two-man carry support is another example of a two-man carry. So it is used to transport either a conscious or unconscious casualty. It is especially useful if the casualty is conscious and needs assistance in walking. And then the other one is what we call two hands set carry, which is used to move a conscious or unconscious casualty for a short distance. Kasi pakita nyo yung picture. 
So, ito siya sa front view, parang nagka-cross yung, uh, magkas, magka-cross yung hand nung, nung dalawang magbubuhat and then parang, nakaupo lang yung, yung casualty dun sa, kanila, sa, sa arms nila. Yan. And then, the other one is what we call forehand set carry, which is used to carry a conscious casualty that can help support himself while he is being carried. Ito yung itsura ng mga kamay nila kapag ginagawa tong forehand set. And this carry is especially useful in transporting a person with a head or foot injury for a moderate distance. And then another is what we hold, three-person carry, or also known as the stretcher lift. So, ito is hindi na siya uh, un under ng two-man carry. It's more because it involves three persons. Or this is also called a stretcher lift. This technique is for lifting a patient into a bed or stretcher or for transporting them short distances. So, each person kneels on the knee nearest to the victim's feet. On the command of the person at head, the rescuers lift the victim up and rest the victim on their knees. So, that's how you do the three-person carry or the, also known as a stretcher lift. And then another type of three-hand carry is what we call the hammock carry. So hammock carry is the is a method of moving a patient with three or more rescuers positioned on both sides of the victim. This is usually the strongest on the side with the fewest rescuers. So what are the things that you can use uh, in carrying and transporting a victim. So in this topic, we will discuss what are the improvised materials for carrying and transporting a victim. The first is you can use a chair wherein yun, so pauupuin nyo yung, yung victim dito sa, ano, sa, sa isang upuan and then yun ang bumbuhatin nyo. And then the second is using a stretcher. Okay, just like this. And then another one is okay, you, you, you just use a cloth. So those are the different materials that you can improvise and use to transport or carry a victim.